Hello, I'm Arthur Denise Turney, and you are watching the Chistel, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com YouTube channel. And I'm the author of one of the books I've written is Spiral, and it is a murder mystery set in Memphis, Tennessee in the 1940s. If you love jazz, there's a lot of music. I, I love jazz. If you love jazz and you love that, that Memphis back to the 1940s uh, era, and a lot of great music came out of Memphis, I think you will really enjoy Spiral. Spiral on top of it if you like a mystery. This book is a very rich mystery. I mean, it's mystery from top to finish. Then I think you will appreciate, love, it, and enjoy Spiral. So I want to just do a, a, a reading from Spiral. I'm on page 74, so I'm coming into, I mean, it's not even the middle of the book because um, Spiral is, let's see. 204 pages. So this is a little bit before the middle. So I will begin. 40 minutes later, when the telephone rang again, he sat back in his high back leather chair, shaking his head at the facts two of the eight files had brought, brought him. His wife had six affairs during their eight year marriage. Three of the, the affairs resulted in pregnancies that all ended in abortions except one. Two photographs of a muscular, silver-haired man were at the bottom of the second file in her leaf-through. No date, no name. Nothing was on the front or back of the first photograph Leonard picked up. When he turned the second photograph over, he saw his wife's handwriting. I love you, Jack. Leonard stared at the words and asked himself why he didn't see that his precious missing daughter, Jocelyn, looked nothing like him. She had none of his features, and yet, when she ran up to him after he returned home from a hard day of working at the officer in the courtroom, he lifted her into his arms and said, My precious little girl, my lovely daughter, Joycelyn. Mr. Baxter, Leonard's assistant ad said after she knocked on his office door, then slowly pushed it open. There's a detective Kramer on the line for you. Leonard leaped up from his chair. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He grabbed the two files he'd looked through and shoved them inside his briefcase. Thank you, he said to his assistant while he hurried through his office, grabbing a pad, several pins, a camera film, a tape recorder, and his suit jacket. Thank you, he said again when his assistant didn't move. When he stared at her, she turned and went back to her desk. Hello, he said on the telephone. My arms are full. I'm, I'm on my way now. I forgot. I, I've got some things I want you to see. Sorry, I lost track of time. I'm on my way now. Please. Stay put. I'll be right there. He hurried toward the door. Normally when he left his office, he simply closed the door. But this time, while he glanced over his shoulder at his assistant, he told himself to lock the door. Where shall I say you, you've you gone, his assistant asked while he walked away from his office in her desk and closer to the exit door. She stood from her desk and followed him down the corridor with her gaze. In case Mr. Baxter calls or stops by looking for you, tell tell her I'll be Mrs. Baxter. Tell her I'll be back in about an hour or so. He paused. If she comes by, then he walked out the door. Once inside his black Mercedes Benz, he sped across town to Tilson's grocery store. That's a big, big part in this story. Tilson's grocery store. He pulled inside the parking lot before he started hunting for an empty spot. Detective Kramer came up alongside the bins. Rolling down his window, Detective Kramer leaned across his seat and said, follow me. And so I'm going to stop there. This is from Spiral. And again, it's a murder mystery, jazz, the Tilsons. They're a very powerful African-American family. And this takes place in the 1940s, a very rich time, not only in Memphis, but in our country's history in the 1940s in Memphis, Tennessee. And I encourage you to get a copy of spiral today and let me know how you enjoy spiral and please subscribe right now to our chistel.com youtube channel not only do i do book readings here but i share free book marketing marketing uh publishing conf writers conference festivals great events radio shows if you love stories and in, in, the, in any form that they take I encourage you to subscribe right now to our chistel.com YouTube channel. Please go over and visit us online at chistel.com. 
See you back here next week. Bye for now.